Today is our last day in Rome uh, and it is raining unfortunately but you know that's okay. Uh, we are heading now to the Trevi Fountain and then afterwards we'll go to the Spanish Steps um, because we are working on a on a little photography uh, project so we need to go to those two locations um, and then you know like we have seen a lot of museums we've seen a lot of stuff uh, we may or may not head to another museum um, or we might just you know go do some shopping although we did buy some really cool hoodies yesterday uh, that are taking up room in our suitcases so we may not have much room in our suitcase to do much shopping but you know it'll get us out of the wet and the rain um weather's it's it's not cold it's not well it's not particularly cold uh it's nice and comfortable and but yeah it's just raining but that's again okay. it's still gonna be a good day we start the day by eating an English breakfast, except it's a little different to what I'm used to. The olives are certainly an interesting touch. Afterwards, we walk to the Trevi Fountain. The rain becomes too heavy and we have to buy a couple of umbrellas. No sooner have we opened the umbrellas, the rain eases. I guess we have them now, just in case it starts to rain again. After the fountain, we make our way to the Spanish Steps. For me, this is the least interesting attraction in Rome. While the steps are pretty, I really don't understand their significance. So we successfully made it to the Spanish Steps, which is just behind here. It's super busy here today. Uh, we also did go past the Trevi Fountain again. Um, and now I have absolutely no idea what we are going to be doing. We have about six hours until um, we need to catch a train. Uh, up to Florence so I guess we'll just maybe wander around and and see what we can find to uh, look at um, I know there is a church I want to go and see um, and that's over near the Termini terminal train station um, and yeah we'll see what else there is along the way So we've now made our way to the Mercati di Traiano Museo dei Fori Imperiali. So this is a museum that is um, near quite a lot of monuments here. Just down the road there is the Colosseum and across the roads the Forum. Um, yeah, heaps of stuff to see here. So we thought we'd pop in here. Um, just because we walked past it the other night and it looked good from the outside um, and these are all lit up overnight um, and look absolutely magnificent so you don't need to pay to come and see some of these things but we thought we'd, we'd come in and, and pay to go into the museum because I love museums <music> The museum building has been restored beautifully and there are many interesting rooms full of information and artifacts. One of the genius things that I saw here was a mirror on the ground to see the underside detail of an old column header. These pots are simply amazing. They were used to transport liquids such as wine, oil and garum or salt fish sauce. I'm not sure of the shape for stability, especially on a boat, but it must have worked since there are so many preserved pieces today. This museum is when you go outside and see the market building. The curved facade makes you imagine what it would have been like when each of the rooms were occupied by small stall holders.
absolutely amazing things is just how much history is here. Just on the ground. Pieces of pillars and buildings and statues line the paths. Pieces appear to be strewn around the open spaces, but I'm sure they have been expertly placed by people who have an idea about how this area would have looked during its peak. Museum. It's been fantastic. Really, really loved it. Um, views are incredible, and um, yeah, heaps to do around here too. So worth it. So we walked up to the Basilica Basilica Papali Santa Maria Maggiore. Yes, so it's a Basilica. Uh, Santa Maria Basilica. Hey, it looks absolutely beautiful from the outside. So uh, we will go in and we'll have a look and we'll see what awesome. it's all about. After a delicious dinner of risotto fungi, we make our way to the station to board the train for our next stop, Florence. 